finding the motivation to work out kotena te mea uroa o tene. If you're with a group or with a team, then you know where to be, what time to be there. You're accountable to them. But what if you just want to do a few exercises at home, or you just want to do a few exercises to get fit? Te aha te tifiri to becoming your own coach. E mohi o puana tātou, he tini ngā hua o te whakangungu. So we know that exercise is good for the mind, body and soul, so it's a no-brainer, right? Yeah, we know that, but actually getting the motivation to do that and having the know-how to do that can be a little bit tough sometimes. Dean? Baby? <laughs> Why yeah. do you enjoy working out? For me, it's more about um, how I feel afterwards. My whole world or changes i know that if i feel better in myself then i'm better for for you my family yeah anything that i'm doing in mahi wise i you know it's, it works out i've found that after having the boys there was that period of you know you couldn't do anything because you didn't have any energy etc but now that i'm back doing some exercise i actually feel like i feel good therefore i'm better for you as a wife and i'm better for our children as their mum, so. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree more. In Mohio Pū Ana Māua, we know that it is hard to get motivated because life kind of gets in the way of things that we really want to do, but that's okay. I mean, from my past experiences and looking online, I've been able to come up with a plan, and that's why we're here, to try and help you come up with your own plan as well, because it can be quite simple. Here's our plan for today. Kua kwe, you ready? Hi. Hi. Yeah, all right. Ko te whakangungu tuatahi, solo warm-up, tuarua, your partner workout, tuatoru, I go, you go. You honestly don't need equipment, there's plenty of bodyweight exercises that you can do, but if you do want to buy something heavy, I would recommend a slam ball or a kettlebell. That was rima minutesi, that was five minutes of work. Yeah. Ko tēnā te koiri, that's the, the warm-up, but after that five minutes, I mean, we're feeling we're pretty feeling. knackered. Uh, but it's helpful to have someone else that you're doing it with because it's easy to quit, easy to give up. Wanted to hook our legs in, but can't. <laughs> so that makes it ngāwari ake easy. Yeah, easy. Intimate. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so here lies the issue with working out with your partner. <laughs> 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 I think it's being funny. Anyway, <laughs> so 30. Tahi. So if you didn't actually have a slam ball or um, something similar, essentially just find something in the house that is heavy enough, because you don't have to throw it, you can pass it, just find something, make it work. Whether it's a 5kg bag of potatoes, bag of riwai, play tenna. Or a bit of pumpkin. <laughs> so I'm not sure about these partner workouts working together. So the next one is what we call a partner wall ball. So wall ball, you're working your entire body. So you start with the ball, squat, throw the ball up to a point, and then your partner actually catches the ball, and then they go through that same exercise. So. Bit harder to do with a bag of potatoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I bring the practical advice. So the last thing that we're going to do is just some partner push-ups and you just have to suck it up with your partner if he's like my husband. Just and he talks you... a lot. No, it tries to distract me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's it. Waru. Ewa. The guy. So that was a type of partner workout. Engare ko tētahi atu momo, so another type of workout is I go, you go. Okay, tahi rua tore. Oh. Come on baby, you got this. Come on Jenny May. <laughs> tahi. So really important with these wall walks that you don't go to the point where you're hurting your shoulders or overexerting yourself, because they are quite tough. Even though it looks like a relatively easy exercise, you're engaging the core um, and the shoulders take a bit of a hammering, but it is such a good exercise for you. You know, it doesn't have to be hard. You just, even if you don't have a garage where you've got some space to do a bit of a workout, you can do it in your living room. I mean, we were doing that, you know, before we were able to, to work out in here. So it's just about doing the best that you can 
with what you've got. And if you haven't got anybody to work out with, go to your neighbour. Find somebody that can actually help motivate you in the beginning, because after that, once you get going, you'll be sweet as. Hey, Peter Yakui. Hi. Sweet as, mate. Let's get out here at 5am in the morning. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't know why you're still sleeping in. Ha <laughs> ha.